Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And uh, I try very hard not to ramble about Star Wars because everyone's rambling about it. Uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and just, I don't know, throw this episode together in regards to Star Wars Episode 9 is also getting review bombed on Rotten Tomatoes. So when they say also, that means something else is getting review bombed. And, well, if you've been keeping up with uh, other videos on YouTube and some news, uh, you would probably know that Captain Marvel is the one that's getting review bombed on Rotten Tomatoes. And recently, Rotten Tomatoes has uh, removed the rating system or something to protect C Captain Marvel. Now, I think I've seen one trailer of Captain Marvel, and you know what? I I don't care one way or the other about Captain Marvel. Um, I really don't have an opinion of it either way, because I just really... I don't know. I just haven't really <laughs> cared about it, to be honest with you. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll suck. I really don't know. But um, let's talk about Star Wars Episode Nine. That's what this is all about here so last week it was the fake review bombing of marvel's upcoming captain marvel no people weren't fake review bombing it they were just saying they just don't want to see it anyway that made headlines well before anyone could have ever seen the film yeah they're trying to make a point they don't want to see it now it's star wars episode 9 getting the same treatment and you're surprised Read the comments sections of some of these Star Wars videos and you'll be able to see exactly what people think about Episode 9. They don't really think much of it. They're <laughs> people are done with it. Heck, if there's a lot of people commenting on my video, you might be able to see right there that people don't care about it. So, I don't know. J.J. Abrams' final installment of the new Star Wars trilogy doesn't even have a name yet. Well, there, yeah, there's a negative thing right there, too. Can you believe that? It's supposed to come out in December, and it's we're all, we're getting into March. Well, by uh, well, it's February twenty eighth when I when I'm shooting this, but it's <laughs> it'll be March by the time I get this up on my channel. So it's March now, and what we got? A uh, seven eight? How many seven eight eight? Like eight months left, and they don't even have a title. Either they can't think of something good, or they're or they or they think they really have something good, and it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> they know they screwed up. You know that. They know they screwed up, and they're afraid that anything they do is just going to make things worse. Um. Yeah, so there's already a flurry of negative reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Granted, there will be those who will counter, but they aren't reviews. But the negative comments are firmly located under the Audience tab of Star Wars Episode Nine Reviews page, the same location where audience reviews will land when the film opens in theaters 10 months from now. Well, if you all have a problem with this, then here's my suggestion. Don't put it up on Rotten Tomatoes until it comes out. Duh. Seriously. If you're going... it. Rotten Tomatoes. Alright, listen to me. Okay. If you're going to put something up for review, don't put it up until it comes out. Well. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> Might as well put something up on your, your Rotten Tomatoes page that isn't going to be out until five years from now. 
oh, I don't know, why don't you put on Minecraft the movie? That's been talked about for years. Why don't you put that up there so everyone can post reviews about something that's not even out or not even finished or whatnot? No, no, you stupid idiots. Put it out when it comes when when it comes out. There you go. Problem solved. Uh, with that clarification out of the way, the negative comments about Episode 9 are a little bit more varied than the sexist comments lobbed at Captain Marvel. I didn't realize there were sexist comments lobbed at Captain Marvel. As a matter of fa fact, isn't it the other way? Where the actress, was it Brie Larson, is making sexist, racist comments uh, to fans or to viewers? Isn't it the other way around? Isn't she saying, "Oh, we don't. Uh, I don't need white men to watch, to watch my movie, right?" Isn't it? I don't think they're the. I don't think the uh, the audience, you know, you, me, and you know, everyone else. I don't. We're not the ones that are being uh, uh, sexist and racist. They are. They're the ones that are that are saying, "Oh, we don't want white men watching our movie," or whatever the case is. Um, that's okay, uh, Brie Larson, because I, I don't really give a damn. <laughs> I, I don't really care about your movie. Maybe I'll see it. I don't know. Um, if you continue to talk crap, um, well, I'll just give you the finger and we'll call it a day. Anyway, uh, in contrast, the episode nine complaints contain quite a few comments expressing discontent at the general Star Wars re-Disney treatment of the expanded universe a common complaint among many fans for quite some time yeah you shouldn't have uh, uh, canceled out the expanded universe that pissed a lot of people off including me there are also plenty of comments from those who just can't get over Luke Skywalker's death in The Last Jedi another issue that even people who love The Last Jedi sometimes cite as being a low point of the film for them Many of the other fake reviews, however, cite dislike of new characters such as Ray, Rose, Tico, and Finn, and dislike of Lucasfilm Ed Kathleen Kennedy as the reason they already hate a film they've never seen. <laughs> They're trying to send a message. Don't you understand that? No, you don't. And yes, tucked into some of those comments are sexist digs. One review cited Ray being able to use the Force as being a betrayal of Star Wars while others are angry at the idea of women having any place in the Force. <clears throat> I don't remember reading anything like that. Um, yeah, Rey uh, betraying what Star Wars is, I, I would agree on that point, but that doesn't have anything to do with her being a female. Uh, it has to do with the fact that she's a Mary Sue, perfect in everything, and um, has no growth as a character. Anyway, some even decided to go for a one-two punch and declare that both Captain Marvel and Star Wars Episode Nine would be a financial failures, and that will surely show Disney not to go against white male fans. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. It's worth noting that Captain Marvel is projected to have a huge opening box office. It probably will. Even for all of these negative comments, Star Wars Episode Nine still has a solid anticipation rating, Sitting at 89% at the time of this article's writing. <clears throat> Though if the targeted fake review bombing intensifies, that could always change. Well, see, here's the thing. You're only you're getting reviews only from one side of the story. You know what? There are a lot of people out there who don't go to Rotten Tomatoes. They don't go and watch YouTube videos. And they're and they're looking for the Star Wars because it's Star Wars. So, will it do well? Yeah, I think it will probably do okay. I, I don't know. But then again, Solo didn't. So who knows? Um, where where are we here? <clears throat> the film also ranked pretty high on many of the most anticipated movie lists. Oh yeah. So it seems pretty clear that even with some people preemptively ready to hate. There are plenty more eager to see the film before deciding how they feel about it. Well, yeah. When it comes to those genuine fan reactions, uh, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Anyway, so 
I don't know. What do you think about this whole thing? Uh, did you go to Rotten Tomatoes and review bomb it? Good for you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, do you care? Uh, maybe you don't care. Maybe you do. Um, here's here's what I think. If you're mad, if you're pissed about Star Wars, and and you're gonna go review bomb it or whatever. My thing is, what's the point anymore? What's the point? I mean, the movie's already been shot. They're not going to change it. They're not going to step back and say, oh, maybe we should refilm this. Oh, maybe we should just cancel the whole sequel trilogy and start over. They're not going to do it. You know they're not. So, at this point, what's at this point, what is the point? I don't think there is a point anymore. Um, if you want to make a point, just don't go see it. Don't go see the movie. I'm not going to go see it. Not not in the main theaters. Um, I'll wait. Uh, our dollar theater has actually... They've upgraded, so they're no longer like $1 or $2 now. Now they're like 6 So um, I won't be seeing Star Wars there. So I guess maybe I'll wait for pay-per-view <laughs> and pay 2 bucks for it. I don't know. Um, but... Yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know. Maybe I'll make some money off of Disney stock or something, and then I'll use that to pay for Star Wars, and then I'll give you guys my review of Star Wars. Um, because, I don't know, there's probably going to be a lot of people that are going to want to see reviews. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll go see it just for you guys. I'll go see it and let you know how bad it sucked. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching me on this rambling video, and I hope to see you on another one because I have plenty of these videos all over the place about a lot of stuff, and thank goodness it is not all about Star Wars.